If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. While back, I've made a video about Eviation Alice. However, the video in question was removed due to compliance with the YouTube's recent policy change of what is considered or allowed on a YouTube. This video is a bit more of an update of what is happening with the project, including essential data I was able to gather on this quite interesting project. Alice is basically world's first purposed electric passenger aircraft. And according to its developers, the Eviation could carry up to nine passengers and a crew with a range of less than 1100 kilometers. Eviation has been developing an electric aircraft for four years now, with Alice debuting for the first time at the Paris Air Show this year. The small electric passenger aircraft, originally an all-electric aircraft designed from grounds up, including all new electric battery technology, which reportedly gives Alice a range of nearly 1000 kilometers, the impact of aviation on air travel, something I've been talking in my last video, especially now that air transport is becoming cheap, affordable way to go around. A potential huge increase in air travel can have detrimental effect on the environment and global climate. Aviation aircraft would like to address and tackle this particular problem with an electric aircraft that could cut the carbon emissions dramatically hoping many other airlines opt for electric aircraft, ideally one made by Aviation. In that regard, Aviation managed to secure few commercial orders for Alice, its electric plane. First such commercial contract, in fact, for all electric aircraft, was signed with Cape Air, a US-based airline that specializes in commuter air transport. The double-digit order, thought to be around 20 aircraft, could see first commercial service with an all-electric aircraft as early as 2023. Before I continue, I would like to ask you to consider becoming my patrons by donating to my Patreon account. My YouTube channel just got demonetized, and I would like to continue making videos, something many of you here like. But I'd rather maintain full editorial control over my videos on my channel and for that, I need actual supporters. Link for my PayPal account and Patreon account in the description. Thank you. Contract thought to be valued at $80 million for 20 aircraft could push major aircraft manufacturers to consider all electric aircraft as viable alternative to current highly polluting kerosene burning aircraft. Boeing and Airbus have been strong on maintaining current status quo with minor changes to current lineup aircraft that offer no significant reduction in fuel consumption or tackling the dangers of climate change. Airbus has been working on an idea of hybrid aircraft that could take to the air in late 2030s, replacing current A320 family in 2040s, with expected range of 7 to 8,000 kilometers and capable of carrying 100-120 passengers. The next generation of Airbus aircraft are several decades away. Boeing has no plans for hybrid or electric aircraft for foreseeable future. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, has been quiet on all electric aircraft front. However, he has hinted his intention to develop an all electric aircraft in not too distant future when battery technology improves and offers comparable energy density that would warrant viable electric passenger aircraft that could take to the skies and offer sound alternative to current gas-guzzling, highly polluting aircraft. One option to consider, perhaps, is the development of solid-state batteries, something German automaker VW is working on very hard. So what is a solid-state battery, you might wonder? I plan to do a separate video on our technology and what is behind the tech and research so far on it. But in short, a solid state battery is a battery technology that uses solid electrodes and solid electrolyte instead of liquid or polymer based electrolytes found in lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries. In 2019, Tesla acquired solid state battery and ultracapacitor maker Maxwell. The company claimed to offer energy density of over 300 watts a kilogram in demonstration cells. 
the cells retained nearly 90% capacity retention after nearly 1,500 cycles. Musk said 400 watts a kilogram would make an electric aircraft viable. So we're near there almost, and there is a good chance Tesla is already working on an electric aircraft as we speak. Back to aviation, electric aircraft, and why the future of aviation is electric. At a press conference, Omer Ba Yohai, I'm probably butchering his name, the CEO of aviation, said that he expected to receive certification by late 2021 with deliveries he predicted for 2022. The aircraft is not some future maybe, it's there, ready and waiting, he said. Ba Yuhai also said that the contribution from Honeywell, who built the plane's controls, as well as Siemens and Magnix, who provide the electric motor and related functions. Ba Yuhai said that plane would now travel to Arizona in the United States, where it will be flight tested before being put forward for certification with US FAA, Federal Aviation Administration. Most of aviation funding is from Claremont Group, the private investment fund in Singapore. Claremont has given aviation $76 million in exchange for 70% stake in a company, according to the filing with the US Securities and Exchange Commission. I would like to take the opportunity to express my gratitude to all of you, my subscribers, but in particular to Dono Spaceship a fellow subscriber and highly talented and kind supporter of my channel. He 3D printed a model of Starship and Super Heavy for me. With such great detail and accuracy, I am literally lost for words. His channel is Dawn of Spaceship, where he talks about stuff like SpaceX, Starship, but also other stuff that might be of great interest to you all. The link is in the description. Please check out his channel and consider subscribing to him. He certainly deserves all your support. Thank you.